Hello, my name is Jamie and it got better. Of course it did, why shouldn't it? Yes, I got called a fag in high school, but I had liberal parents with the disposable income to send me to school in the big city once I graduated. But what about queer youth who can't afford to escape? Or who represent a more marginalized group under the LGBT umbrella? For them, it shouldn't have to get better. High school is supposed to be the time of your life, not an environment of hate, or necessary evil on the yellow brick road to gay urban fantasia. Why aren't bullies being held accountable, or careless teachers or schools? Why is the onus placed on us to endure high school? Bullies graduate too, they become our bosses, law enforcers, bus drivers. Teen suicides are a tragedy, but take a look at the, the depression rate within queer adults or the amount of substance abuse in the LGBT community. It doesn't always get better. That's why we need to externalize the locus of control, stop blaming ourselves, and start blaming the perpetrators of homophobia. Yes, high school is shitty for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans persons. That's why you need to stay alive, fight, raise awareness, increase visibility, and make a difference so others don't have to put up with this shit. Quentin Crisp said that gay people have the burden and enjoyment of being survivors, of being outside, and of being aware that every day they live is a kind of triumph. He was an openly gay man living in England in the midst of World War II. You may not become a witty white male sex columnist, or his blonde haired blue eyed lover with their sardonic athletic son. But stick around. You may surprise yourself. The possibilities are endless for you.